this net zero home, the client wanted extra insulation. They heard about passive house and they wanted to maximize insulation. So what we did for the exterior walls is we did a, uh, a double wall construction with staggered studs. So you can see that we have the space on the exterior wall will hold one insulation bat. And then behind that, you can see that the studs are staggered and the other insulation from the inside. And because they're staggered, there will be no thermal bridging. So thermal bridging um, on a traditional home where you have one wall, not a double wall construction. The two by six, these are two by fours, but normally we'd be using two by sixes. So the cold will go right through the two by six to the interior of the home. Because we have the stud staggered, it will not go through the wood to the interior of the home. With a double wall construction, this allows us to have the vapor barrier in between the two walls as opposed to having the vapor barrier on the inside. Usually when we have the vapor barrier on the inside of the wall, we have to cut out all the electrical boxes. Um, with the double wall construction, we have the vapor barrier in between the walls, so we will not be cutting the vapor barrier at all. So it will help greatly in air tightness. The client wanted the home to be as insulated as possible. She heard about Passive House. So normally our cathedral ceilings, which is what this would be, have an R value of R31. But we were able to get it to R50 by designing these uh, special trusses, custom designed trusses, that allow us to have the extra space to get R50 insulation in the cathedral ceiling. This roof will also have a solar array on the outside and to support that solar array the trusses are also um, beefed up to handle the load of the solar array.